Hey Toysters, so quick video here. Of course, the big news today, Nazem Kadri has signed with the Calgary Flames on a seven-year deal worth $7 million annually. Not entirely sure if there'll be a modified no-trade clause or anything like that, but the fact of the matter is the Calgary Flames have made over their top six quite a bit in this offseason. So, of course, they already shed Johnny Gaudreau. He, they lost him in free agency to the Blue Jackets. Matthew Kachuk as well in that big trade with the Florida Panthers. And in exchange, despite losing two guys who scored 40-plus goals this past season, they get Jonathan Huberdeau, one of the absolute elite playmakers in the NHL. They get Mackenzie Wieger to add some more offense to their blue line, which is already a very good defense, at least schematically it is. And they also now have Nazem Kadri. So when you look at the Flames lineup potentially going into the season opener, Lindholm, I think, would stay as that first line center. And of course, you've got Jonathan Huberdeau. And I would think Tyler Toffoli gives them a right-hand shot at the wing. And then on the second line, you'd have Kadri as your second line center with Andrew Majapane, who had, I think, what, 35 plus goals this last season. And you would have either Blake Coleman or maybe even Jacob uh, Peltier. I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce that, but he had a very successful season in the AHL this past season with 62 points in 66 games. So this guy could get a good roll with the Flames. They are a little bit thinner down the lineup, but still, even if you have Coleman on your second line and drop Peltier down to the third line, he could play with Mikhail Backlund, who had a very prolific season, and Dylan Dubé, who I like quite a bit. And the bottom line would be Lucic, Kevin Rooney, who was acquired in the offseason from the Rangers, and also Trevor Lewis. So with the Calgary Flames cap situation, right, they entered today with $2.7 million approximately in cap space. So what they did, despite signing Kadri, they traded Sean Monahan to the Montreal Canadiens. So the Canadiens take on a bad contract. This is a guy who hasn't quite been the same the last couple of seasons. And with that, the Flames are relieved over $6.3 million. And so the net difference here is under a million dollars. So they still actually have cap space left. So fantastic job by Brad Tree Living in that respect. Of course, the Flames also had to send quite an asset over to the Montreal Canadiens. The full trade hasn't been reported yet, but verified sources have said the Flames are losing a first round draft pick. However, not entirely bad for Calgary. They have most of their draft picks going forward. So they're only missing a third rounder for next year. They have their first. They have their first in 2024 and they have two uh, first round draft picks in 2025 because one of them came in that Matthew Kachuk trade. Also, one other player I wanted to mention here was Matt Coronado, who's a prospect of theirs, who had a really successful run with the U.S. team at the World Juniors. So we'll see if he gets an opportunity this next season as well. So Kadri on the year. Now, first of all, he's going to be 32 when the season starts, but he did come off his best year with the Colorado Avalanche in 71 games, 28 goals, 59 assists for 87 points and a fantastic playoffs as well. He was injured for a few of those games, but in those 16 games that he played, seven goals and eight assists for 15 points for the cup-winning Colorado Avalanche. So, absolutely huge offseason for Tree Living and the Calgary Flames. And now, when you look at the moves that they have made, are they even better than they were this past season? You guys let me know down in the comments down below. Are they the front runner to win this division or perhaps the Edmonton Oilers or maybe even as a dark horse, the LA Kings? But yeah, I think for the time being, this is Alberta's division while a couple of those California teams, minus my favorite team, the Sharks, get significantly better in the years to come. So yeah, Battle of Alberta will be fantastic. Calgary's a six and a half hour drive if it's not crazy snowing or anything like that. So guys, I don't know. I might have to go see a flame game, Flames game this upcoming season, especially if it's against the Oilers. That would be absolutely magnificent. So anyway, guys, what are your thoughts on the signing? What do you think of the Calgary Flames going forward? Comment down below and stick around for more great hockey content throughout the offseason. Leave a thumbs up and uh, see my video description if you want to follow me on social media or contribute with a donation or a super thanks. We have those as well. Thank you, Twisters, so much for tuning in. Once again, I'm Nick. This is Cortana. And we'll catch you, Twisters, later. Ciao.